it's Katie. If you don't know me, one thing I love to do is bake, and today's video is going to be a baking video. It is week three of isolation thanks to COVID-19. Um, so I got inspired to bake some carrot cake, actually carrot cupcakes, because, you know, we're not allowed to see that many people right now, so I can't just bake a giant cake. It is such a delicious recipe. It actually tastes really good. I've tasted them. I'm actually in between tasting and decorating them. Um, they did go a little wonky though. I'm not gonna lie. There's some funny moments in this recipe. So uh, I can't wait for that. We're gonna be making cupcakes, cream cheese frosting, and we're also going to be adding some cute little royal icing carrots that I made last night onto the top of them. It's gonna be really cute, really fun, and I can't wait to show you how to do it. And uh, if you're celebrating Passover, happy Passover. If you're celebrating Easter, happy Easter. This is a spring-themed um, recipe, and I'm really excited that spring's here officially, but I wish I could go and enjoy it with my friends. <sighs> oh well. Okay, so the first ingredient that we're going to need is going to be flour. One cup of flour for this recipe, just plain all-purpose flour. The next ingredient we're going to need is sugar. Um, we'll need a cup of sugar, and I did three-fourths of a cup of plain granulated white sugar and one-fourth of a cup of brown sugar because it adds a little bit more of a molasses taste that goes well with the carrots and the spices. The next thing we're going to need is just half a teaspoon of salt. We're also going to need half a teaspoon of baking powder and we're also going to need half a teaspoon of baking soda because there's going to be a lot of heavy stuff in this recipe and so we're going to need it to rise quite a bit. So you actually want to use both baking powder and baking soda which usually you use one or the other, but it's fine. We're also gonna need some spice, which is probably my favorite part of this recipe. And um, we're gonna want some cinnamon, which is the traditional, half a teaspoon of that. And I also add half a teaspoon of cardamom because it uh, is what chai tea tastes like, is cardamom, and I really like that taste. Then we're going to need two whole eggs, regular large eggs. We're also going to need some plain cooking oil and uh, just half a cup of that. And last but not least, we're going to want to have some carrots. Um, I use probably two carrots for this recipe, about a cup and a half, um, but you know, get to where you need it to be. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is shred our carrots. And it took me probably just two carrots to get the cup and a half that I needed for my smaller recipe. I would suggest hand shredding the carrots um, because you can control how big the little shreds are. So we're just gonna take a box grater and shred those carrots down until you get about a cup and a half of carrots. Um, the next thing that we're going to need to do is add all of our ingredients in because everything else is pre-made. So we're going to add the flour first and the sugar together with all of the spices and the baking powder and baking soda. We're going to mix all of those together until they're a nice even consistency and then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients.
So then once everything is evenly distributed, you're gonna add all the wet ingredients and just mix it up like you would a regular cake. It doesn't take very long to come together. Um, I would say mix it for about two minutes fully just to whip everything up. So um, you kind of activate a lot of those ingredients and then you're just gonna put them into cupcake tins or if you double this recipe and want to make a cake, you can put them into cake um, pans, round nine inch pans if you have two of them should make two cakes if you double this recipe. It would make one very short tiny cake if you just did the regular recipe. Once you've mixed your batter together, you're going to add your batter to whatever your desired form of cake is, pans. Um, this is where I ran into problems because I had this really cute, adorable cupcake tin, but it's kind of deep and it's not very wide, so my adorable little orange liners were a little too big for it. So they look kind of, they're shaped weird, but they tasted good. But I also put the extra batter into some shallower cupcake tins that I had, and um, well, you'll see what happens. You will bake these at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're doing cupcakes, 15 minutes max, I would check on them at 15, stick a toothpick in there and see if they're done. Okay, so you guys, I had to switch to my handy cam. What the hell is this? It's a monstrosity. These, wait, can you see them? These, these look fine. I was really concerned about these. I thought these were going to be the problem, but no, it's these, my fail safes. <laughs> so, <laughs> these rise a lot. Oh my God. But oh my gosh, look at this monstrosity. So apparently, do not fill it the regular two thirds of the way up. You only need half as much dough as you think you need for this carrot cake because there's baking powder and baking soda in it. And I knew that, but I still thought, hey, I should put some in this pan too to not waste dough. Mistake! Okay, so the next thing we're going to do once our mistakes have been made is we're going to make our cream cheese frosting. We're going to need confectioner sugar, about four cups, four to six cups, honestly. We're also going to need half a stick of butter, we're going to need vanilla extract, and we're going to need lots of cream cheese. I have two eight ounce packages of them and you want everything to be room temperature. However, I forgot to get the butter out and uh, that's why I'm mixing it up beforehand because I forgot to get it to room temperature so I needed to mix it up and warm it up faster. So you're going to cream your butter and cream cheese together, make them nice and soft in one single emulsion, basically. So we've got one eight ounce thing of cream cheese. To the butter, you're going to add your cream cheese, and apparently I'm going to have some difficulty doing that um, because one package came out easily and the other didn't, and I didn't want to get cream cheese all over my fingers, so just watch me struggle. Yep.
And then the next thing we're going to do is add some vanilla extract, about a tablespoon, um, just for some nice flavor. I would stick with vanilla. I wouldn't try any other kinds of flavors, just because I think it will clash with the uh, carrots. Unless you have like orange. Orange might work. Um, because carrot, I don't know why. I just feel like maybe citrus would be okay, but I won't try it. So basically, you're going to add your four cups of powdered sugar, one cup at a time, and you're going to slowly start mixing it. Um, I would use a hand mixer or a stand mixer um, until you get pretty stiff peaks. If they're not as stiff as you like them and you're out of sugar, because I did that, I ran out of sugar, but I still wanted a thicker consistency. Here I am emptying the entire bag. <laughs> Um, if you want a thicker consistency, you can add a little bit of cornstarch to it, and it will actually uh, make it a little bit thicker. And you just mix it up. Um, but if you, if you do add the cornstarch, don't um, add too much of it. Just add like a little bit at a time. So as you can see, <laughs> they were not the prettiest cupcakes, um, but we have our little carrots that I made the night before and we've got our icing and some pastry bags. And if you don't have a pastry bag, just take a knife or a flat spatula and uh, just spread that over. This is probably the easiest way. And honestly, here's the thing. Yes. It's nice when cupcakes are beautiful. Sometimes they're not going to look perfect, but as long as they taste delicious, that's all that matters. Okay, so once you got your icing on, you're just gonna add one of the cute little carrots, and that's that's it. You know, that's probably the simplest way to do it. But if you have a pastry bag with a fancy tip, you can pipe that on there too, and that's also gonna be really pretty. It's also very satisfying to see this thing just go fill it up thing with just icing. Yep. Okay, and then you're left with some fabulous cupcakes. They look cute and they're pretty delicious. These cupcakes These cupcakes are really good, and if you have the opportunity to make them, you should. Oh god, that burn. Anyways, sorry I'm having to film this from my phone because my battery keeps dying. Love you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Happy Easter. Happy Passover. Yay.